everyone from Indonesia. The 25th of May 2019, today is Saturday. I would like to share some, can I say some words yeah, and some thoughts and some information regarding uh, atheism in Indonesia and also <coughs> correct some Miss words, misinformation about <laughs> about being an atheist in Indonesia, which is uh, some <coughs> some some mates in the West known that being an atheist in Indonesia is banned, illegal, or so on. The answer is definitely no. <laughs> <coughs> Why? Before I start, can we please pause for this video for a, for a short for a short minutes and press the subscribe button on this channel? Papa J Cross, and if you want to share some thoughts and also wanted to send your thoughts and send your own words about <coughs> atheism in Indonesia so we can have a discussion please uh, keep your comments below <coughs> and this video will be extended into more in-depth version of an analysis and information of being atheist in Indonesia. Now let's start the video. Well, according to the Indonesian Constitution, Article 29 of, <coughs> I should say, Article 29 of Indonesian Constitution, I should say, 1945 Constitution. Uh, Article 29, first, Chapter 2. The Chapter 2 of Article 29 of Indonesian Constitution said that the Indonesian government strongly protects the freedom of religion protected the freedom of belief in Indonesia. <clears throat> so every belief, every religion outside of six recognized religions in, in, in Indonesia, namely Islam, Protestant Christianity, Roman Catholic Christianity, Hindu, Buddha, and Confu Hindu, Buddhism, and Confuci Confucianism. You still have the right to practice your own belief, to practice your own religion. But largely, largely, uh, Largely, the servants, or I should say, the the adherents of religions and belief outside of the six ones won't have main privileges. For example, like the national ID card and public holiday, because six religions in Indonesia. Are granted holidays are granted with holidays for example like Islam granted holidays in the Islamic New Year the Islamic Raj the the main holiday in Islam is, is actually Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha celebration most of Islamic countries most of 
Muslim majority Muslim majority countries. In most cases, namely you can found namely you can found in the Middle East, do not celebrate the Islamic New Year. Do not celebrate the the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad. Do not celebrate the Isra Mikraj. Do not celebrate the uh, any other uh, Islamic special days rather than Eid al Fitr or Eid al Adha. In Christianity, it's only in Christianity in, in Indonesia, the Easter holiday. Easter and Christmas are granted as holidays. But I should say, well, the holidays in Indonesia should be decreased in order to increase productivity among its uh, workers in Indonesia. Okay, atheists, however, non-religious beliefs, I should say secular beliefs, namely agnostic, atheists and atheists, because I have an agnostic sister. Actually, she is my friend, but I recognize her, and I treat her as uh, my sister. Her name is Alka Mariska. Her name is Alka Mariska. She is uh, formerly appeared on TV as a presenter and actress in the past. Nowadays, uh, she's work as a graphic designer in a company. She's an agnostic, followed her m mom. Her dad is a Buddhist, and her brothers and sisters are Christians and Muslims. So, di really diverse family. And, I'm, and I recently withdrawn from any religion. At first, I withdraw from Islam and began studying Christianity for two months. Then I withdraw again from Christianity to Islam. And since November 2018, I withdraw from Islam and became a murtad. Murtad means withdrawn from Islam and, became an, and become an atheist since then. Now, secular beliefs in Indonesia, namely free thinker, agnosticism, and atheism, are classified as practicing beliefs, adherence of beliefs, or in Bahasa Indonesia you can call it penghayat kepercayaan. So, is it banned in Indonesia? The answer is no. If you found if you come to Indonesia, be sure you found, uh, namely, Badui and Dayak tribes in Banten and in Kalimantan. They are animists, practicing their traditional belief, their traditional religion, or I should say the traditional ideology, the traditional concept. It's still granted. If you know, also know Sunda Wibitan, Sunda Wibitan, it's also <coughs> a local religion. If you found <coughs> Torajans in South Sulawesi, they are still practicing their own local religion and do not convert into one of six national religions recognized by the government of Indonesia. So, being an atheist in Indonesia is actually okay. <coughs> Mates in the West, it's only known that being an atheist in Indonesia is bad. Let me correct this. Being an atheist in Indonesia is not bad. The only ban to atheists is to, is to spread the atheism to whole public of Indonesia. While atheism is not classified as an illegal belief, as an illegal teaching, as an illegal concept in Indonesia, but thereby 
Indonesia personally avoids atheism. Not ban atheism, not classified it as illegal, but Indonesia avoids atheism in accordance of Pancasila. The first principle of Pancasila, which is believe in one God. For short, Indonesia is a monotheistic state, not an Islamic state nor secular state. Islam in Indonesia is only majority religion. Majority of Indonesians are Muslim. 85% of Indonesians are Muslims. But Islam in Indonesia doesn't classify, isn't classified, I should say, as a state religion like in Brunei. But Indonesia itself is not an Islamic state like Saudi Arabia, Iran, Afghanistan and Pakistan. <laughs> but Indonesia is a Pancasila state. Okay? It's a Pancasila state. Or in Bahasa Indonesia, you can call it Negara Pancasila. In accordance to the first principle of Pancasila, which is believe in one God, Indonesia is a theistic state. Indonesia is a taste state. Theistic state, monotheistic state, or for for sure, yeah, for complete answer, I should say Indonesia is a monotheistic state. But, but in Indonesia, there's a, there are, there are three, there are th three non theistic religions namely hindu namely hindu hindu is a polytheistic religion non theistic religion buddha doesn't have doesn't have theistical concept so that's confucianism so in indonesia the balinese hinduism are classified as monotheistic Buddhism in Indonesia has a unquote fake God because Buddha actually doesn't have theistical concepts while Confucianism did the same do the same I mean by creating unquote fake God because in Confucianism also not found theistical concept as I as I observed. But thereby, if you are adherents of atheism in Indonesia, it's absolutely okay, but the only thing that atheism is banned in Indonesia, number one, is number one, atheism is banned in Indonesia to be spread to the whole public. So you are not allowed to spread the atheism ideology, the atheism teaching to the whole public of Indonesia. As, as I said earlier, Indonesia not classified atheism as an illegal teaching nor, nor ban atheism, but thereby Indonesia avoids, tend to be avoid atheism. Indonesia tends to be avoid agnosticism atheism means not believing in any god or gods well agnos well agnos well agnosticism means that still confused either god or gods is or are exists or not Okay. Thereby, in the, thereby, secularism is also not classified as an illegal teaching or illegal ideology in Indonesia. But again, I say, Indonesia 
avoids secularism. So Indonesia mainly avoids irreligionism, not banned, not classified it as illegal, but Indonesia avoids irreligionism, atheism, agnosticism, and secularism. Because according to most Indonesians who are adherents to Pancasila, it is a match with the first principle of Pancasila, which is believe in one God. But if you track back, if you trace back from the formation of Indonesia back in 1945, back up to the post-independence, post-independence Indonesia, you may found you may found a script that contained a speech by one of Indonesian national heroes and a great cleric and diplomat, J. Haji Agus Salim. In one of his speeches about belief in one God, which is Ketuhanan Yang Maha Esa in Bahasa Indonesia, the original intent of that speech was admitted. He admit was he admitted that Indonesia actually allows everyone, allows its citizen to be an atheist. For those who are not believe in God, the original intent are still accepted in Indonesia. According to Kiai Haji Agusali. In Sukarno's speech in the United Nations headquarters in New York in, in September 1950, that's when Indonesia became a 60th member of the UN at that time. In his speech called To Build a New World, he mentioned, yeah, believe in one God. But the original intent of that speech was the same, was the same as the Kiai Haji Agus Salim one. Granted freedom, granted protection, and granted right to live for those who are not believing God, aka atheists or agno and agnostics. If you trace back from the post-independence Indonesia. Religion is required to be filled on National Identity Card after 1967, a year after Sukarno deposed by second president Suharto. Yeah, because of traumatic, traumatic after the, the rebellion, I should say the actually fake rebellion by the Communist Party of Indonesia. Why? Because it was organized by the United States of America and Suharto himself to gain the presidency from Sukarno. Because Sukarno disliked foreign invest West Western investment in Indonesia, while Suharto is a Western agent in Indonesia. Was, I should say, was. Yeah. Not this. So, Karno was against Western investments in Indonesia, while Suharto was their agent to globalize Indonesia. So, let's Return to the topic. Is it okay for being atheist in Indonesia? As long as you are not spread it to the public, it's okay. You adhere and practice atheism in Indonesia privately, it's okay. But remember, you have to pretend that you are yeah, a adher adherent of a religion, just like what I do. 
I'm actually an atheist, but I still pretend that I'm a Muslim because I don't want to come out as an atheist for now in order to avoid my life being worse, being worsened. Okay, don't come out as an atheist at wrong time. You can come out as an atheist at the right time in order to avoid your life to be worsened. That's my tips. That's my tip for you. As long as you are not spread atheism and agnosticism, secularism, and the last one, irreligionism to the whole public by seminars, conferences, and leaflets, and so on, and so on. It's okay to practice it. <coughs> it's okay to practice those ones. But if you, but if you spread those ones to the whole public, yeah, so to say, yeah, you will be jailed for five years or more. Uh, because Indonesia still adopts the blasphemy law. That's according to the chap. That's according to the chapter hundred and chapter hundred and fifty six article hundred and fifty six. I should say in Indonesian legal legal law in Indonesian legal system. That's when the that's where the blasphemy law is located inside the Indonesian constitution. However, however, being an atheist in Indonesia is subject to be persecuted publicly. Yeah, if you spread the argument, the atheistic arguments on social media namely in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on, yeah, you will be, you'll face tastical religious Indonesians who will, whom they are, will, whom they are, will, uh, whom they will answer you, I should say, whom they will answer your atheistic comments with not tastic arguments, yeah, tastic arguments plus Persecution. Persecution by persecution by words, aka cyberbullying to you. By judging, uh, you will go to hell. You will blas you are, you are blasphemer. You are kafir and so on. That's bad. When there is an argument, you should respond with argument, not with sentiment. When there is a critic, you should respond to it wisely, not respond in a brutal way. So argument comes with argument. There's no such thing that argument comes with, with a sentiment. An argument comes with argument. So every argument should be replied and responded by another argument, not by sentiment. But in Indonesia, you, if you're an atheist, arguing against theistical concepts, arguing against religious concepts in Indonesia, you'll face what I said earlier, judgings by sentimental Indonesians. They will judge you as a blasphemer, as a non-believer. Yeah, non-believer, it's okay. As a, you know, help it. The person will go to hell. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? So finally, I come to the conclusion. 
<coughs> atheism in Indonesia is not banned. Being an atheist in Indonesia is not illegal. It's legal according to according to Pancasila principle number 2 until 5 and according to the Constitution of Indonesia article 29 chapter 2 article 29 chapter 2 where every Indonesians or people in Indonesia are allowed to practice their own beliefs their own religions outside of the six recognized religions in Indonesia and freedom of religion and freedom of belief are protected in Indonesia so feel free to be an atheist in Indonesia but the only the only things that ban from atheism in Indonesia the only things that ban that ban agnosticism in Indonesia that ban irreligionism and ban secularism in Indonesia are only banned to spread those ones to the whole public again those those ones are not illegal or not or not banned actually but avoid but Indonesia avoid those ones so that's what I want to share with you <coughs> about being an atheist in Indonesia, which is actually O and K. It's actually okay, but do not spread it to the whole public. And don't come out as an atheist in Indonesia if you don't want to worsen your life. That's it for this video why why atheism should not be thereby avoided to be spread to the whole public because the whole Indonesian still believe in the first principle of Pancasila which actually doesn't doesn't align doesn't match with atheism and irreligionism but actually since I become an atheist, religion, religions are just concepts that told tons of hypocrisy. And also, mm, religions are complicated. So that's why I left religion to live a free life from any dogmatic beliefs. That's it for me. Goodbye.